Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here again. So today I want to share how to use Google Trends, Answer the Public, and also SEMrush to find keyword opportunities for your website. Okay, right now I'm in Google Trends. This is a free tool to use. I put in the keyword pickleball and the category is sports. Um, you can also change it to search term, but I want to really keep it simply just as the category of sports. Now I changed my settings to the United States and also for the past five years because I want to look at a trend to see if there's actually anything happening. Um, obviously, you can see now that it's at the 100 mark, so I'll zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see. The 100 mark doesn't mean there's 100 searches per month. It really just means that this particular topic now is that it's most searched um, ever within Google. Uh, the reason why that's important is that you want to look at trends like this if they're going up. Now, for a website like mine that covers sports, this is a real opportunity. Okay, one really cool thing within Google Trends is that you can compare different categories against each other. So I obviously showed pickleball. That's growing for the past, really the last year and a half, it's actually been taken off and now we are in 2022. It's, it's the highest uh, level it's been at. Now, for example, I have all these sports on my site and one of them is hockey. Now, ice hockey for me doesn't drive as much traffic as you might imagine because a lot of people look at the big four sports in the United States and they probably say football and then they might say the toss up between baseball and basketball and then hockey is generally number four. My data though kind of suggests something a little bit different. Um, even though I, I cover more topics on baseball and football, that's also why the traffic's not there. But when I look at Google Trends, though, I can see that the interest in ice hockey actually in the past five years, it's not growing. It's relatively how the season goes. So the reason why I bring this up is that pickleball right here over the summer of 2022 actually matched the interest in time for both ice hockey and pickleball. Now, it's not exactly fair because ice hockey had its off season, obviously in the summer, and now it just resumed. Um, but again, when I look at like my first party data and I say, you know, ice hockey really isn't that big driver on my site. It actually kind of matches with what the interest shows within Google Trends. And I'm gonna show you one thing that is though, matching Google Trends uh, via how much traffic I'm getting. I'm gonna look at just, a, um, just the category of soccer. Soccer here is in yellow. So I'll zoom in a little bit because I know sometimes it's hard to see. Um, soccer is here in yellow. Now we just had the MLS Cup against LAFC and Philadelphia Union. That had over, I think there's an article that said about 2 million people watched that. It was like one of the highest ones since like the, early, like the mid 90s or something. So a lot of interest in that. Now with that interest in MLS, uh, and now we're moving into the World Cup, this yellow line should be even higher. Okay, so now that we looked at Google Trends and we know that Pickleball for the last year and a half is now growing, and it's at its highest level. The second thing I'm gonna do is go to a site called Answer the Public. So Answer the Public is free, but it also costs money after X amount of searches, or you can actually get more information uh, by paying for it. So what I'm gonna do is this, simply just write in the word pickle ball right here and hit search. Now, what this is gonna do is it's gonna take uh, questions that people have around pickleball, and actually gonna show it right here, which is really interesting because if you're trying to come up with topics to cover, uh, the things that I do is cover topics that are in question formats. So, um, you know, can pickleball be played on concrete, can play indoors, you know, what happens, can you play on grass, all that stuff. So the reason why I share this is that if you're trying to come up with, you know, topics to cover for a site, we know now that pickleball is growing from the search interest from Google Trends. Now you can use a free tool like Answer the Public to get like a rough idea of, topics that you might want to cover. Okay, we are in SEMrush. I'm using the word pickleball to now look at the search volume. And as you can see, I have a trend line right over here that shows me what Google Trends showed me that this is a topic that is growing in total search interests. Again, it kind of confirms that this is something that I should go after on my site. Uh, and what I'm going to do next is go to the questions section. So I'm going to click on view all. Now, what you can do when you... Um, when you view all the keywords that are ranking via a question, if you're savvy enough, you can actually export the data from Answer the Public and then export it from SEMrush. And then from there, you can do like a VLOOKUP. And what I would do then next is look to see if there's any keywords that um, are on both sheets, because if there are, that actually gives you more evidence that you should cover this topic. And then what you could do as a third um, option, after you let's say do the VLOOKUP, you could then sort it by search volume. So you can then drop in the volume that SEMrush is showing for the keyword, just to give you an idea of what you might wanna work on next. All right, the last thing you can do is 
I suggest looking at the keywords that have about 100 to 1,000 monthly searches um, as a starting point, especially if you have a new website. And the reason why you want to do this is that don't worry too much about the volume. Look at the trend. So, for example, pickleball as a topic is growing in search interest. Again, I explained this before that SEMrush is going to take time to kind of showcase this new search volume. However, I can see keywords here that are all growing within the trend. So even though some of these have like 800 or less searches per month on, on a monthly basis, I would cover these topics because they're actually going to have more search volume than what SEMrush is showing and less people are going after them because most digital marketers are going to go after those harder keywords that have more search volume because they want to get the most bang for their buck. So if you are going to go after topics, look at this bucket right here, 100 to 1,000. This is a great starting point. Okay, and there you have it. So again, Google Trends, Answer the Public, and also SEMrush can help you find keyword topics to cover for your website or for your blog. So thanks again for watching. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and as always, have a good rest of your day.